Hey, it's Rob. Welcome to Axel's Garage. We're out here again doing another video with Cosmo, our 2000 Jeep Cherokee. Yes, it's an XJ. La la la, like I've come to learn. Anyway, we're giving this wireless mic another test. Um, this time we got the wind sock on it. Last video, we're not sure whether it was the, the distance that the camera was from me that was causing the audio to either break up or just cut out a little bit. And it was just like a, you know, a fraction of a second the audio would drop. And we didn't know whether it was the, the range. I did have the camera farther away from me than I normally have it. Or we didn't know whether it was the range or the wind. Um, it was a windy day and there was a lot of background to ambient noise. There was a lot of planes flying overhead. And then we had a helicopter towards the end of the video. It was, it, it was a little nutty. It did shield a lot of that outside music, uh, outside music, outside noise, like today's Halloween. So there's a lot of like kid noises and kid voices going on through the neighborhood because there's trick-or-treaters walking around and they just make a racket. Anyway, quick video today. I wanted to order some floor mats and I was, I was making an order from Quadratech to begin with and I uh, was browsing through the floor mat options and what I was actually looking for was uh, a heavy rubber floor mat and I, I think you all know what I'm talking about it's it's not like that WeatherTech style where it's a little plasticky it's a heavy rubber and I like that because it doesn't ever really get distorted in shape wise it lays flat because it's so heavy it's a nice rubber so i saw quadratech we were ordering the the spaces for the front springs that we'll get to in uh in, within a couple videos they haven't come in yet and i was ha I, I could see what the weather tech looked like and i could see what quadratechs look like and i wasn't sure so what i did was i ordered the rear cargo liner don't have it in yet just came ups uh, i think it was ups today and this vehicle has these this sort of like a plasticky floor liner that was in him and actually did the job because it kept the carpet looking really nice did shampoo out the interior so what we're going to do is we're going to take that floor liner and we're going to put it in i hope it's really not weather tech ish and the, i'm not opposed to weather tech i know it's a u.s company um and they employ a lot of people the thing i don't like about the weather tech floor liners is they tend to curl on the outside so when you start to get in and out of the vehicle it, they're curling and your feet always catch on them and i have had them in several vehicles and they did the exact same thing in in every vehicle i've had them in over time and it doesn't take that long it's less than a year they just start to curl and they are very hard and rigid so they never kind of lay flat and fall back they're flat on the bottom but those sides curl up and you wind up trimming them so that you're not catching your feet all the time so let me get the one from quadratech I, like I said, I was looking for heavy rubber. It, it, at first glance, when I opened the box, it sort of looked like um, like it was WeatherTech-ish. But let's see if it's a little, maybe it's a little softer and it won't have that tendency. All right, that liner that was in here was actually, actually did a really great job. And it was very rigid. The only problem with it was everything that you put back here slid around like crazy. So as you can see, this one, it kind of had that look that where I thought it was a heavy rubber, but it's it's a little it's a little WeatherTech like where it's got that plasticky, but it seems a lot softer than the WeatherTech. So just slide it in, fits right in nice. Seems to lay flat. If it doesn't curve, you know, if it doesn't curve and curl up, I I, I think I like it, but it's definitely gonna going to do the trick for sliding around. I figured this is the best place to to see what these will like to kind of compare it to the mat because um, you know I didn't want to get the, the, the floor mats where your feet go and have it curve so I figured getting it back here even if it was a little rigid like the weather tech I could deal with it back here and then find something else for the front. So this will give me a good idea whether I'm going to want it in the front or not I'm going to leave it like this probably for a couple months and, and feel it out. I do have mats in the front they're just the carpeted ones I just don't like that they get so dirty all the time. So that's what it looks like. Looks like the uh, the Quadratech logo there has got a little dimple on the plastic but I could care less about that. And in the meantime, this will do the trick for not having stuff in the back sliding around like crazy. So that's it today from Axel's Garage. I'll link in the description below 
this actual uh, model of Quadratech floor liner. If you think about wanting to get one for yourself, it'll be all in the description. Hopefully the mic worked better this time than the last video, and we'll see you on the next video.